Yo, what's going on, boys? We're doing another match review, but this time, this time we are watching the T2 Tower. He's the Kronos in this game. As you can see, I'm on the screen because I want to talk about a few things beforehand. Number one, if you want to get in a game to spectate, to come on YouTube, to get a free coaching slash roasting session in front of 10,000 people, hopefully, um, then all you have to do is join my Discord, which is a link in the description, or come to my Twitch chat at twitch.tv slash TimTheDude. Also a link in the description so that you guys can come by and be notified whenever I'm going to be doing this stuff. I always ping everyone in Discord, and uh, if you want to make my life super easy, you can come by stream and say, hey, I am this extraordinary player. I have 240 MMR. <laughs> Or I am the number one Kuzumbo in the world and I want to show my stuff. You know, stuff like that. I'm I'm willing to willing to spectate and, and see what's going on. So anyways, the other thing I really wanted to talk about and this screen, which is why I'm starting it here, is uh, the picks and bans. So I'm going to turn my face cam off for a second just so you can see. We have the T2 Tower, which is our protagonist in this situation. That is our, our Discord boy who is willing to help us. Uh, he is a silver player with 1,000 MMR, and that is after the reset. So I would assume it's probably somewhere around 800 MMR is where he sits on average. Um, but his bands are actually pretty solid. I mean, he's got the the Uller, Scotty, AMC, Bakasura. The Kali and the Vimana are just like comfort bands. You know, I understand them. I have a couple comfort bands myself. But this guy on the other side, Mr. Roasting Rampage over here, is wild. This man banned Baba Yaga, Susano, and Vulcan. Like Anubis, Martichorus, and Hades, I get those. You know, maybe you don't like fighting them. But Susano, Baba Yaga, and Vulcan in a duel? You gotta be kidding me. Anyways, I just wanted to start off with that so we could all be on the same page. And then we'll start this up. Now, I do think the T2 Tower, just based purely off bans initially, probably has the upper hand here. I did not mean to press that button. Sorry. What's the button that turns off the, the... Oh, there we go. Just so I can see things a little bit more. Now, let's open up the item page. Now, it's a new meta, right? So, there's like... There's tanks. Tanking our... People are tanky and whatnot. I'd love to see what he starts. T2 Tower starting Chronos Pendant. Actually, is there maybe a way... You know what I can do real quick? Is I can... Real, real quick. Real quick. Real quick. You guys won't even notice. Real quick. If I just did this and just put myself up in the corner over here instead so that you guys can see all the items going down. There we go. Boom play. We're fast forward just a little bit to get the timer down. 20 seconds left, 10 seconds left, and then we'll start at regular, please, regular speed. So we got our Kronos going Bancroft's one of each potion. Very smart play with Aegis against... The Poseidon, I do I do understand the Aegis. I would like to see the beads. Personally, I'm a big proponent of beads over Aegis against Poseidon because you can actually DPS during the Kraken, but it, it is what it is. And the the Chrono or I'm sorry, the Poseidon is actually going into Chronos pendant. <clears throat> and Poseidon. Poseidon's just going straight for the wave. He was gonna defend the red buff, but he didn't un he didn't expect the T2 tower that was just gonna do blue and and keep going. Man, it looks like Poseidon's got ants in his pants. He can't, he can't figure out where he wants to go. He's at red. He's at blue. He doesn't know. T2, you hear him doing red, bro. You hear him doing red. That last hit's not worth it. Oh, my God. You lost all your HP tanking that wave. You cannot be tanking your wave like that, brother. All right, let's see. Now, obviously, Poseidon's got the better clear here in the early game. So, I want to see how T2 goes about this. He just 3-1s the wave. Tank and archers, you can't do that. And Poseidon got buffed. Keep that in mind. That could be a turning point for this game. Poseidon got buffed. His two now gives him attack speed. Oh, man. Poseidon low on mana. Kronos low on health. Who's going to make the mistake? Poseidon threes Kronos, messing up his clear. Kronos can three the Poseidon, killing him, but chooses to one the minion wave and three the minion wave. Weird play. I would like a little bit more aggression out of T2 Tower here. A little bit more aggression. He's playing a little bit scared. Poseidon is level 5, but he has no mana. He doesn't even have a mana pot. He's got some health pots. 
Got a couple of health pots, but that's it. Oh, the whiff on the three. Okay, be careful. Be careful. That that Kraken, he's saving up the mana. You can tell by his positioning. You can tell by the way he's holding his abilities. He's saving up for the Kraken until he... Okay, Aegis. He Krakened you and the wave. Cleared the wave. Got your Aegis. That was a good play by Roasting Rampage. Weird bands, but good play so far. I think T2 Towers, he's lacking a little bit. A little whiff -a Oh, you can't be fighting that. You can't be fighting that. Bro, pop your two. Big jukes, though. Okay, the alt. All right. A bit of a panic alt, I would say. But, uh, oh, Poseidon with the horn shard. Not enough mana to follow through with the kill, though. And these guys are just tiptoeing around each other. Like it, it's been T2 Tower low on health and Roasting Rampage low on mana, except T2 Tower doesn't have blue buff anymore. All right. Get in the XP camp and then back. Just back. You're, yeah. Those four extra steps. Wasted a little time. Poseidon won. He went to Chronos Pendant, but he reverted it. What are you doing? What are you doing? Four health pots and Chronos Pendant. Okay. That's a lot of health pots, my guy. My dude's chugging. Oh, and the T2 Tower comes out to play. He's like, it's a tank meta. Let's build some tank, baby. Finish the Bancrofts. He got one of each pot. Poseidon. Smart play, getting the blue buff before coming to lane. The treasure chests are up. You can see them dinging on the map over there. Let's see, what are these cooldowns? He has Kraken up. Poseidon has Kraken up. He's willing to he's willing to kill. He's willing to kill. He's looking for it. He three ones. Lands a little cheeky auto attack in there, too, just to make sure Kronos knows what's what. Kronos is playing extremely passive so far. Very passive. You're going to have to ult this. Kronos, get ready to ult because you're going to have to. I know you have ult, but I'm just going to check to make sure. Yeah, yeah, yeah. All right. Go up. Oh, nice one by the Kronos there. Poseidon clears wave to get that minion damage off. Oh, but the, the Kraken, the whiff, the one, the miss. Oh my God. All right, huge ult, huge ult. Poseidon runs away. Kronos doesn't have mana. Do not get it twisted unless he uses his two in his fourth quadrant to save mana. Wait. Poseidon with the DC. Poseidon with the DC. Kronos. With the respect. Just waiting. Understanding the situation is delicate. You don't want to go too far too fast. You know what I mean? Okay, boys. We're back. This is his second game because the first game, the Poseidon DC'd. Uh, he died to minions and then he came back, realized he died to minions, inted and surrendered. So now we're back with game two to actually see what he's like. It's Anubis with, again, you know, weird bands because the Hera, but whatever. It's fine. And we're just going to go right into it. Anubis versus Kronos. We're going to see what what's it about. That is a one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine star Anubis. Okay. Good luck. You need it. All right. T2 tower on the chaos side. Let's see what the items are. Anubis, obviously one of each pot. Bancroft's probably a beads and a, her. He got vision shard. We're in the depths now, boys. <clears throat> this man could have gotten so many things to help his advantage in fights. And he chose a ward. In duel. Anubis, not the play. Kronos starting the exact same way as he did, except now he gets beads instead of Aegis. Oh, it looks like a level three fight's gonna break out. No? Oh, they're touching tips. Anubis holding the S key. Kronos also holding the S key, but he's against a wall, so he's not moving. They look like they're staring at each other, but I know they can't see each other. Oh, 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 they're peeping. They're peeping. And they break off and do the blue. Anubis is going to clear this a lot faster as long as he put two points in his one. He didn't. Okay. Let's see. He should still clear faster than Kronos, though. Anubis going the safe way around. Oh, no. They're both going the aggressive way around. Anubis did out clear, though. 
And he's going to be able to outclear wave unless the Kronos can land the three. But it doesn't look like... It looks like they're both playing it really safe. No three by either... Or no three by Kronos. I'm sorry. No one by Anubis. Playing it safe. Anubis misses the wrap. Kronos simply damaging. Oh, Kronos taking half of his health to the Anubis burst. Snapping back a little bit with a one, but not doing too much damage. I would like to see this Anubis get aggressive. I would like to see this. This Kronos is a little, he's a little too far up. But you know what? Now, Kronos better W key. You better go, boy. You're getting that kill. I know your one's on a short cooldown. Missed it. Oh, close though. Don't walk in tower. Don't walk in tower. You're freaking me out. Oh, lands the stun. Misses the one. Oh, Anubis didn't even move. You just missed your one on a stun target. Oh, God. It hurts me in the in the loins. It's okay. You're still winning. You're still winning. You have better clear. or uh, You don't have better clear, but you have more pressure currently. You're getting the red buff, so you're going to be up in XP. Is Anubis still doing old school methods leveling the three? He is. Oh, but the Kronos. Anubis, Anubis sees him. Anubis is greedy. Don't do it, Anubis. Anubi. My booby, man. Oh, no. Okay. And Kronos, the very, very disciplined back. He said, I know there's a wave going in my tower. I know I will lose a little bit of experience. But I also know that if I stay, I will die. Smart play. Heads up thinking by the Kronos. Again, our pro tag is the Kronos. Loses the gold of all but one minion. So Anubis catches back up on the gold front. Only 100 down. Anubis and Kronos both hit their power spike. Full Bancrofts. Much better on Kronos. Or I'm sorry. Much better on Anubis because of his passive. You don't know what Anubis passive is. Uh, it is basically just more damage. Based on how much life steal you have. Oh, the vision chart coming into play. Anubis holding the corner. Kronos gets hit. Oh, Kronos beads. Anubis gets stunned out of the one. Doesn't all. Neither party. Kronos beads down, though. Anubis now knows if he lands a wrap, it's a wrap for Kronos. Good damage. They're both just poking. They're both just poking. Kronos looking for an all in. Gets scared. Trying to juke something. Huge whiff on the three, but lands the lands the one. Anubis Anubis knows it's his time to shine. Wait. Wait, what are you doing? Wait, what are you doing? Wait, what are you doing? Oh, the ult! Kronos can't ult in time, and he gets absolutely nuked by the low HP Bancrofts and the Anubis ult. Oh my gosh. Kronos, your positioning was a little poor there. I gotta be honest. You knew he had ult. You knew you didn't have beads. And you knew you would die faster than you would be able to get your alt off if that wrap hit. Heads up play by Anubis to basically ignore him and be like, hey, I dare you to fight me. You know, I dare you. You come to me. I'm going to walk past you. I'm going to go clear the wave. If you want to start something, just know I'm going to end it. You know, that's what the Anubis was saying. Kronos didn't catch on quick enough, unfortunately, but he is going defense. Like I said, tank meta, you know. He is going defense, and the Anubis is going into that immediate Typhons. But with a lead, maybe that Typhons might feel a little bit too strong. I don't know. Kronos is farming. I would say for an 800 MMR player, the T2 Tower, your positioning and your actual like ability aiming could use some work. But overall, you get the gist of farm. You're doing a pretty good job of the farm game. Good stun. Oh, you know what's not acceptable, though, actually, that I just remembered is that you missed your one on a stun target and dropped a kill because of it. That's not good. Let's see what happens here. Just some casual poking. The problem is poking in Anubis almost never works. Anubis just baiting. Just baiting abilities. Trying to... To get the Kronos to step up a little bit too far and get wrapped. Kronos spamming abilities so hard his mana's already half. <coughs> Anubis doing what Anubis is do. Holding corners. Huge 3-1 combo though. I actually think the one missed and the three just chunked. Life steals all the way back up from the wave though. It doesn't really matter. 
Nice. Kronos is using the reverse mana or, or re like repeat mana section of his passive. Giving some mana back. They're both just playing this waiting game, this weird waiting game. Anubis knows he can kill the Kronos, and Kronos is desperately trying to poke the Anubis. You need to land a three and all in. You are never going to win a poke battle against an Anubis. As a Kronos player, you should understand that. You should understand your game plan, Mr. T2 Tower, because he's going to be watching this, I'm sure of it. Your game plan, if you ever get this matchup again, and I bet you will because you are a Kronos player based on last game and this game. Um, against an Anubis, you're all inning. You're not poking because you'll never win that fight. His health pool will always outlast your mana. Always. All right, big three, and you're, you are maxing the three second, as you should on Kronos. For good clear. Anubis waiting around corners. And Kronos goes for the Shogun's play. I personally like the Genjis if you are going to go the, the like breastplate route. I personally prefer Genjis here because I think the cooldown is much more important. But obviously, if I were to completely criticize, I would say that should be a Pestilence 110% of the time. Because he's double lifesteal, he's Anubis as is. Pestilence is the single tankiest magical defense item you can get in the game. Just go Pestilence. And be careful now. Be careful now, Kronos, because Anubis just got that Typhons. And an extra 5% pen on top of that. He's got 25% pen now. The wrap one feeds the beads right out of Kronos's pocket. Now Anubis looking for the follow-up wrap three alt combo. I do, however, think Kronos might be able to survive it, assuming there's a little bit of DR on that wrap. Oh, and Anubis hits it with the spam lap. Oh my god. Not like this, dude. All right. You you got the XP camps. You're going to get his you're going to sacrifice your wave and your tower for a blue buff. Not good. <clears throat> Obviously not good. You lost a permanent objective for a temporary objective. Do not do that. Do not do that. If you're losing your tower for a a temporary objective, it's not worth it. Even if it's Bull Demon, it's not worth it. Unless, unless you have a tower up and you can sack your tower to get Bull Demon to take their Phoenix, then obviously, you know, there's some give and take. But for the most part, it's not worth it. Now, this Anubis is straight up going lifesteal, 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 lifesteal. Kronos not going Pestilence. Stopping his tier 2 enchanted ring to go into a, a toxic blade. I like that play. He plays he plays a very auto attack based Kronos, as if I'm judging based off this build alone. So it's gonna be interesting to see how that plays in for the later game. Does get the red, also gets the dick. Oh, the three slows. Anubis charging up. Kronos with a, a swift 181 to stifle the aggression not bad not bad oh i thought that back was a little bit lazy for a second i got a little scared all right tier two toxic blade coming out of the chronos not bad not bad let's see what you got the second they are at a point where they can get second relics i've just now noticed that anubis has beads and aegis you know what i would actually like from this chronos instead of an aegis is a blink I would like some blind aggression. You are playing so passively against this Anubis that he can do whatever he wants and win a fight. <clears throat> He's just missing all the autos and the ones, man. Simply missing. Oh, good one, though. Good one. And takes a Phoenix shot. This is your chance. W key. Oh, but that lifesteal. My God. Both relics out of Anubis. Back out. Back out. You've won the battle. You've won the battle. You're going to get wrapped and die. <laughs> oh, no. Oh, 
my god he gets the alt off that is spectacular with a 3-1 and a kill comeback kill by the way oh my god <laughs> holy crap that should not have happened not not in a trillion years should that fight have happened the way it did i am going to piss my pantaloons i don't think he understands what this is which is why he was staring at it so long okay don't go for the tower you you greedy bitch don't do it he did it he, he's going for it just run away just run away run away run away Oh my god. Oh! Thank god the Anubis missed the wrap. Again, our pro tag is the Kronos, so I'm cheering for the Kronos, obviously. Now, Anubis going into Pestilence, that is that is what Kronos should go. Honestly, what I would like to see from Kronos from this point forward, I would like to see Toxic Blade into Pestilence. Oh, Anubis gets the blue. Unfortunate for the, for the Kronos. Oh, that rap hurt. Damn. Okay. He lives, though. He lives. That's a lazy back. You're lazy backing. This Anubis definitely takes a Phoenix shot to stop your back. Or for no reason. Okay. Kronos, finish that Toxic Blade. Perfect. Now go into Pestilence. He gets Aegis. Ugh, don't, I don't love the Aegis play. Bro, you gotta hurry. You gotta, you gotta buy faster. You gotta buy faster. You're losing Phoenix health. How much gold do you have? Oh, he finished Demonic. Okay. He finished Demonic. Aggression coming out. Huge aggression coming out. He's got the Toxic. He's got the aggression. Why back off? Why back off? You have a third of his health gone and Toxic Blade and the aggression on your side. Be aggressive. He missed the wrap. Now's your chance, baby. Oh my God. You died to one ability. Oh, but full health? And the wrap and the oh and the three and the one hit those autos hit those autos get the toxic blade yes yes he's trying as hard as he can to life steal you took the blue you took the red too let's go missed the one though oh no oh but he gets him oh thank god dude when you're 800 mmr any fight could go sideways because i don't understand using dual orb oh my god i love it you'll love to see it you'll love to see it all right, three that wave and take that Phoenix. Let's go, Poppy. There you go. Look at that attack speed. Look at the damage. The pure, pure ferocity out of this man. I was going to say furiosity. <laughs> All right, let's check builds. I want Kronos to back. How much? Let me see the stats. You got 2,500 gold. That's a full pestilence. What I want you to do immediately is a full pestilence it would actually be perfect for you don't greed don't greed for don't greed to save the bull demon you can trade phoenixes off that you're two levels up it's okay it's okay you can win the next fight you run away anubis does bull demon it is what it is good play anubis alting bull demon surprising all right full pestilence oh he goes damage he goes the hasten ring it's not bad okay it's not bad because here's the thing because anubis does have 30 percent pen it does make sense that you'd want to not go double defense into it however defense items are better right now at least so play around the meadow rather than just your normal strategic build that you always go which is just you know hastened toxic shoguns demonic you know that 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 shogun should be a pestilence that that hastened could be a pestilence. Either way, I want you to have a pestilence and double defense, you know? Especially against Anubis. This guy can explode you. Now, Anubis has not actually bought any items. So, Kronos has a gigantic power spike over Anubis right now. Actually, how much gold does this Anubis have? 1,600. <clears throat> Just came out of base, by the way. He did, he did Bull Demon. And then backed, I think. Oh, Kronos, you kill here. Hastened, demonic, toxic. Everything going right for you. Everything going right. Not missing a single auto attack. Hitting the one. Anubis? Anubis, you need to wrap him if you want to live. Your titan is under attack. No! 
You're kidding me! Oh! oh, oh. I almost threw up! What the hell was that, man? You miss the kill, lose half your health to the Titan, get three ulted. You get three ulted by the Anubis. Oh no. Oh no. On the bright side, Anubis has 3,000 gold he hasn't used. He's not going to be able to get your Phoenix because you're only dead for three more seconds. He's just going to go get the red buff and back. Smart play by the Anubis. What's your gold looking like? 1,200. That's a T2 uh, Pestilence, just saying. Looks like you're going Ratatouille, though. I want to see this power spike by this Anubis, though. I'll finish Soul Reaver into what? Into what? Into Tier 2 Rod. Oh, my God. This man just got so much power. This is crazy. And he got the red buff. You got to be careful, dude. You got to play, play your relics. You don't have beads. If you get wrapped, you die. If you're a Kronos in this scenario, you know you don't have beads. You you can press tab. You know that this guy has Soul Reaver. You know that he just got red buff because you ran over there and checked. You know all of this. You have to play around your outs. And his out is beads. It is not Aegis. If I was this Kronos right now, I'm running to my Phoenix and I'm waiting. That is the smartest play. He misses the wrap. But still, that one hurts, man. And that three hurts. Oh, no. Oh, no. No, don't lazy back. You're dead. You're... Oh, my God. What is it? What's happening? You're positioning. Oh, my God. You're so lucky the Anubis missed. He's walking towards you. With the power of damage. All right, clear the wave. Just clear the wave. Just clear the wave and run away. You're not winning a fight. No, don't turn. Oh, my God. That's the third wrap in a... Or third... Oh, my... I can't talk. That was the third missed wrap in a row. You're so lucky. You're playing so... So... Aggressively for no reason. When I want you to be aggressive, you're not. When I want you to be passive, you're not. You still have a full minute left on your beats. He's being aggressive at the wrap. Yes, he dies. The wrap hit. The three, the ult, the Aegis, but you're not going to ult off in time. He gets the ult off. Oh, my God. The three, one. Beads, Aegis, for the Anubis. Run. Don't get wrapped. If you get wrapped, it's game over. Holy shit, my heart. He can't do anything. He can't do anything. Just clear the minions and run. You're going to die. Oh, no. Oh, no. Just run. Just run. Just run. It's fine. Oh, Usa. Okay. Polynomicon acquired. I, I, you started Rod and then sold it for Poly. Oh. Oh. My heart. He has 530 power. The Anubis does. The Kronos had 345 power. That is not a lot of power. You have to lo land a lot of auto attacks. Do not do Bull Demon. He's going for your Phoenix. You are trading your, your Phoenix for Bull Demon. No! No! Oh my god. Oh my god. He got the bull demon. But Anubis got the phoenix! Oh my god, what's happening? Anubis also got the power spike of full rod of duty. Good three! Good auto! Nice. Toxic Blade down. Good beats. Fight through it. Fight through it. Fight through it. Okay. Oh, that's fine. That's acceptable. Chase him. You have to chase. This is your one opportunity to kill. Be aggressive, baby. Keep it going. Juke the rap. No, don't run away. Juke the rap. You have to kill him. Oh my God. What are you doing? You're going to let him heal? He has triple life steal. You can't let him heal? Oh my God. Land. Land. Oh! Okay, the hastened ring makes him juke the rap. Big three. It hits. And the Anubis is... Oh, he missed the one. Oh, my God. <laughs> okay, go get the Phoenix. You sacked your Phoenix. You held your Phoenix over a volcano by its scruff and said, you're going down today, bitch. And dropped it into the volcano to let it burn just so you could get his Phoenix. I want you to know that. That's exactly what happened. Now... You killed him, and you're not getting his phoenix. 
the main reason everything has happened. Eyes on the prize, Kronos. Eyes on the prize. You got this, my guy. You got this. You just got to be a little more focus-oriented here. Objective-oriented. And then, you know, on the bull demon and sacrificing the phoenix thing, less objective-oriented on, on that front. All right. Now you have Polly. Oh, get that red. Get that red, baby. That's what I like to see. Secure. Now you're going to fight. You're fighting. You're fighting. Um. <gasps> okay, that's fine. That's an acceptable alt in my book. The rap hits. Missed the poly, but you got the beats. Got the beats. Got the beats. That's fine. Juke the rap. Juke the rap. Oh, he didn't juke it. You got Aegis. You got Aegis. You can survive that. You're fine. Just back out, though. Just run away. Good plays. Good plays. Anubis has Aegis. Kronos has no relics, no alt. Also, Anubis has no ult, but this is this is the last fight. If I'm if I'm playing this match out right now, I want to be the Anubis in this scenario. Because Kronos has no ult and no relics. And the pressure is on his Titan. It's okay. Your Titan has a health bar for a reason. You can make it lose some. Nice Poliados. Nice Toxic Blade shots. Utilizing that hastened ring. Uh what is, what is it called? Positioning. Good three. Anubis Aegis. Doesn't matter. Lands all the autos. Kronos kills him, but almost dies to the three. What the hell? Almost died to only the Anubis three and technically the Anubis. What is that called? Rod of Calamit Calamitous Rod. I think you should W key the Titan. If I'm Kronos in this scenario, I'm not clearing wave. I'm W King Titan. I'm seeing if I can end this game right now because there's no way I want to keep fighting the, these fights when they're this close. Okay. Why why are you why are you running away? I guess he does spawn in like four seconds. That's fire. That's fair. That's fair. <coughs> oh my god. Anubis just got a 3k pot and a 500 pot. How much gold do you have? You have 4.5k gold. You can also buy a 3k pot and a 500 pot. You're doing Bull Demon, which is understandable. You don't want the Anubis to get it because you just got your Phoenix up. We're watching right here. We're watching the consumable tab. We want the 3k and the 500 to pop up. 3k. 500. Perfect. Even playing grounds, dude. Nobody has relics. Nobody has relics. This is a game of pure ultimates. Although, now that I say that out loud, an Anubis with a 3k pot, a 500 pot, and a Ratatouille, if he lands a wrap, you lose the game. It's not close. All right, you do want to run him down. His wrap's on cooldown. You run him down right now. You're getting those hastens. You're getting those toxic blades. Wanting over the wall. Good one. But you're careful. Don't, don't get too close. Don't get too close. Make sure this Anubis keeps his distance. You heard red buff spawn. It's probably worth it to go get red. You have time on, on your Aegis. Oh, oh! Anubis panic ulted! Oh, you panic ulted! Okay, just to be clear, nobody should have ulted. Especially the Kronos. Anubis panic ulting is fine, but Kronos pan panic ulting there is not acceptable. <gasps> Lands the three! Misses the one! Oh! Oh, he kills him. That's going to be game. That's game. Kills him with an auto attack because he has so much movement speed in this build with the hasten ring and the toxic blade. Wow. Holy shit. What a back and forth game. I can't believe that. Okay. Let's go over a few things because there is definitely some things we need to go over here. I'll wait for this to pop up. I should be able to see the stats screen if I'm correct, right? I can. Okay, he mitigated 7,000 more damage than you. That's kind of a big deal. So, <coughs> what I have noticed. You play around your auto attacks, which is smart because you missed all your abilities. Fair. You can't hit everything all the time. 
And when you're learning, especially, you're missing a lot, you know? So I understand that. I'm not, I'm, I'm genuinely not roasting that. When I was learning the game, I missed 90% of the things I threw out. <clears throat> so it's actually smart that you're building around your strengths, which is auto attack in this case. So good on you for understanding that and doing that. That's actually really smart. However, what I will say, this haste ring should not exist. This should be a pestilence. He does have 30% pen, but what, if you can survive an ultimate to the face and you don't have to play around your relics that hard, then that's probably the ideal situation you want to do. You were a lot, a lot too passive in the early game. Like Anubis with Bancrofts, and especially once he got that Typhons online, you're never going to outpoke him. Like your, your, your mana bar will always go away before the Anubis' health bar. Always. You're never out poking an Anubis with double lifesteal or single lifesteal for that matter. So I would have liked more all in type plays where you're, you're threeing auto attacking, wanting doing as much damage as you can. If you have to alt out, alt out, it's understandable, but that all in aggression is actually going to kick that Anubis down a peg because he doesn't have three or four waves to lifesteal off of over the course of a minute. You know, he has a seven second window where he has to find something to alt to, to, drop a three on to heal, you know, whether it's a wave or a buff or you. But you put him under a lot of pressure. So that would have been a little bit better, I think, in the early game. Um, and then in the late game, oh my God. I, Dude, I got to be honest. Your late game needs work. Sacrificing your Phoenix for the Bull Demon not acceptable in any form of this in no world should you ever sacrifice that good of an objective for bull demon <clears throat> especially duels bull demon the the dual bull demon buff doesn't give you power all it does is give you regen who cares about the buff first off <clears throat> so i know you're not sacking your phoenix for the buff and if your goal is to sack your phoenix for the phoenix. After you killed him, you barely took the phoenix. Because you, you kept clearing waves. I feel like you have so many ideas running around in your head. And you're like, you're like picking out one and then another before finishing that one. You know what I mean? Like, I think what separates a bad player from a good player is being able to pick that idea out and live it out to its full extent before you pick out another idea. You know? Oh, I want to do Bull Demon, and I don't want to lose my Phoenix. Boom. Idea. And then you're like, oh, I want to do Bull Demon. What about my Phoenix? You're like, ah, uh, I'll sack the Phoenix. I'll drop this idea, sack the Phoenix, and I'll keep the Bull Demon. That's like kind of the thought process you're going for. Um, And I don't really, I don't it's not a good thought process. Like you need to kind of nip it in the bud, you know, <laughs> I know it's not really a great way to say it. Uh, it, it might be a little bit insulting, but <clears throat> that was your biggest issue in the entire game. That was your biggest issue, your aggression or your lack of aggression in the early game. And then too aggressive in the late game, along with the sacking the Phoenix for the bull demon. Those are your three big points. So I'd say, in order, what I would what if I was like actually coaching you, in order, what I would tell you to work on is learning about your specific god's actual damage capabilities. Because what that will do is help you with your positioning. It'll help you to know internally when can I be aggressive, when do I have to be passive, and as well as uh, thinking about their timers, right? So, like in order for what I would say, number one, positioning. That's that's your top of the line. That's the thing you have to work on to get better the most. If you get the aggression and the passiveness down, this game lasts 10 minutes instead of 25. That's all I'm saying. Number two is um, idea management, which is a big thing. I'd, I'd say idea management is probably the number one thing people struggle on. So the fact that it's number two for you is actually good. Um, And I mean, I'm not going to go into all the details, but... Basically, you got the gist of it. I hope you guys enjoyed this episode of uh, watching an 800 dueler play duel, 800 MMR dueler play duel. 
And yeah, I hope you guys enjoyed it. If you did, make sure to like a comment, leave a comment and like the video and let me know what you guys liked about this episode and what you didn't like about this episode. And also don't forget to join the discord and come to the stream so you can get your game reviewed. Perhaps who knows? I'll see you guys later. Peace.